it was a difficult period for me personally. Uh, inevitably, when a party is defeated, the blame is cast at your feet. And uh, it was a lonely period because there were those who felt that I had failed the country as a leader. There were those who felt the time had come to, to replace me. So it was for me a period of psychological rebuilding, having to uh, cope with all these accusations and all these criticisms and yet um, re reaffirm that you are still the best person around to lead the party and you can do it. Um, that the loss can be explained by a range of factors. I mean, it was an exceedingly lonely period. Um, and then there's the adjustment, the desertion that occurs. Um, when you lose an election, your f friends or so-called friends disappear. Uh, the quality of treatment begins to change. And it's important that you, the individual, understand those things and why they're happening and do not in turn react with any anger, but see it as a process, something that is, that is, that is inevitable. So it meant that on the one hand, um, we had to inspire our membership that we could get the government back. The results indicate that there were good possibilities. What mattered was how we managed the politics of opposition. And also what, um, what mattered that we had to rebuild confidence, reaffirm confidence in the leadership of the party. But I'm so grateful to the membership of my party, to the ordinary people who support the Labour Party, because while there were those around you at other levels of the party who were criticizing and who were casting doubts, the ordinary people, the rank and file members of the St. Lucia Labour Party, continued to believe in me. They insisted that I was the best person to continue to lead the party. And, you know, you have to give thanks for these things, um, the affirmation, the confidence, um, the willingness to trust you. Um, and for me, that's one of the most precious things. I've always appreciated that. <laughs>